straddling? Hello. You missed my quads. I missed your, did you just have quads? Uh, two hands ago. Is that why you got the really big um, stack I mean, now? I'm still down I guess me, yeah. All right. I'm coming though. We've got 45 minutes, 30 minutes to come in hot. So double 575, okay. It's 30 minutes, we have an hour left, right? How much time do we have left? 35. An hour probably. When do we stop, 9.15? 9.30? 9.15 to 9.30, sorry. All right. We start getting better at I got an hour to cut. They, they're pretty hardcore about when they stop. I mean, we can beg and plead, and they're they're like, uh, no. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick board check, a board check only for 136 Part 11 Omaha. If you are in the room interested in playing 136 PLO, give me a wave when I call your name. Jimmy for 136 PLO. And now to Alec Torelli, putting him in the vise and squeezing. Make it 28-25, uh, please. You got that, yeah. Brian for 136 PLO. Uh, Bri Brian, I'm here. You didn't win. Did you pay me? Yeah, well, he paid me. Yeah, you paid him. Oh, I owe yeah. you 50 bucks for the flop. Okay. I never paid you. Morrow and Tilly are both gone. Brian, this guy is crazy like a fox, but right now he needs to fold like a wolf. SE, 136. I just don't even know how you can consider not folding here. All in. Hey, no cussing, you're on TV. That's all I was gonna do. Let me see. Let me see. That? Looks like we're gonna see a fold from Gusak, and Torelli could look him up here, yeah, considering he just flatted the initial raise. See, so 25 behind. Wait, do you have those silver? Yeah, did you not know? I did not know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if there's, does he, there's like the legal ruling is he has to shove in this spot. Yeah. He didn't know I had these chips. And then I just saw you like- Oh, those like, big thought, chips yeah, were hidden. They really like, should be in front or on top. Right so Alec Torelli had 10,000 in gray or silver chips that Dan Wolf didn't see. That's the scenario here, Stapes. Yeah, he thought he was shoving on a short stack. And even though he does have Torelli covered, it's barely. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna affect my decision. I haven't really thought that much about the hand. So okay, you can think I'm about willing to do, oh, well, okay, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, so I'm playing an all in from this amount. The whole okay. pickle. I don't know if it's going to affect my decision that much. Um, like, hold on. So the pot 6K. Now I actually have to think about the man. I just didn't want you to think I was like angling it or whatever. I had 9 7. Off. I had, I had biscuits. Did you have yeah. Had a all right. That's a weird hand. All right, no, nah, my hand, what do you, my hand's not that good. Yeah, that's what I thought. I that's honestly, why, like, I'm not doing that if I knew you had that extra 10. That's why. This I is a crazy hand. I mean, I, I feel ball. bad. I, I don't know if I lose or win. Ball, it is what it is. Ball, ball, do you have a pair? Ace 10's got a shot, but it's a small one and no dice. Torelli wins everything. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, that's why like, I didn't know he had that extra 10 or else like I'm on just so there was a lot that played into that hand I mean he didn't he misread my stack right so he thought I had 10k when in fact I had 20k so this changes dramatically the amount of hands that he's gonna be shoving and if you look at his reaction when he realized that I had 20k when I was counting out my stack asking him do you cover me I just felt like his reaction was so genuine and I didn't think that he was gonna do that with aces or kings so I just felt like his hand was weak and uh, I, I made a big call so it looks like Cletus is now out of money and gonna be leaving the table. I, f I feel bad. Like I kind of feel a little dirty He's here. He's a donkey. A